Uh, in this tutorial, I create a character running, and uh, he was uh, shoot by two arrow, and uh, he falls down. And uh, um, this is a, a little bit um, complicated scene. Um, uh, however, it, it is actually uh, quite simple. Um, so how to create it? How to how to create this scene? Um, so um, uh, in the in that in in this scene, um, actually I create uh, the motion of the arrow and uh, the character separately. And um, actually, they have uh, no interaction. I just faking looks like they have an uh, interaction. So, um, so let's let me explain how to create the motion of the arrow. First, go create a simple plane, and the second, create a box. Uh, a box looks like a, looks like a, an arrow need a very big plan the plan is a ground object now um, you have to set um, keyframe to the arrow before the simulation so uh, rotate it a little bit and uh, set an uh, initial keyframe and uh, go to uh, 10 frame and move a little bit up a little bit and then rotate so you you see if, you, if I turn on the tra uh, trajectory um, yeah. you see the trajectory of the arrow now sel select all the objects, the arrow and the plane, and uh, add uh, create a regular body collection. Okay. Now, the plane and the box are included in this uh, regular body collection, and uh, set the property of the plane to a yielding and cable mesh maybe the friction uh, about two and the mass of the of the arrow maybe uh, five um change the uh, Collision tolerance to about uh, 0 0.7, and uh, because the the keyframe of the arrow is between zero and uh, ten, so I'm going to change the uh, start frame between zero and ten. So for example, nine, and uh, see the preview. speed is too slow so I give it more okay. now the box looks like a, a flying arrow and uh, you can fine tune the effect by changing the friction or the mass of the arrow or the gravity of the world and uh, all the 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 the, the, the sub step of the performance al also make a difference. 
and then once you satisfy with the simulation you can now create a animation for the arrow and uh, go to the utility panel go to the utility and uh, reduce the key now let's say your character uh, standing somewhere in the scene so let's create a biped character yep. uh, so let the biped move to left here and uh, this is the position where the biped fall if but uh Mm, how to change change the trajectory or the path of the arrow that can hit the biped um, if you select if you select the arrow and then rotate it still the arrow remain in his origin in its original trajectory so um, better use another way now I create a dummy and uh, select the select the arrow and the link uh, the arrow to the dummy dummy object Now, if I rotate the dummy object, the trajectory of the arrow uh, move relatively to the arrow. So, by doing so, you can by do by doing linking to the uh, dummy object, you can change the uh, coordination of. Uh, coordination of the original arrow and uh, pretend the arrow is uh, uh, moving through the biped like so and uh, this is a very handy way to uh, so you don't have to create two arrow for the scene you just uh, you just copy this arrow and uh, link link it to another Link it to another dummy object, so the 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 biped will be will be sh shoot twice. Now, um, how to create the motion when the biped the character is uh, shoot shoot by the arrow and the fall down? Um, there are um um. There are several ways, not only one way to do that. Um, the very simple way is to just, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. You just use the, uh, the, the keyframe within the motion capture, the, run, the running motion capture file, and the start simulation between, uh, between between the keyframe, uh, like the concept is same as the, in the beginning. I I I use a simple box as an example. So how to um, how to load up a motion capture file uh, like so? Um, very simple. Just go to uh, uh, just create a biped and uh, go to motion <coughs> motion tab and uh, open uh, pre-made uh, uh, running running file if you don't have a motion capture file you just have to uh, create your own 
motion capture. So, um, so let's take a look uh, at the preview. Yeah. As you can see, um, I set the timing for the star frame to 52 and the keyframe for the biped uh, uh, finish uh, stop at uh, 52 so the simulation begin in 52 and uh, in that moment um, the, the reactor will calculate the motion of the, the this biped uh, according to uh, to uh, the momentum of each bone and um, um, to make a, um, other effect uh, first uh, this um, Use the keyframe within the within the bypad is the first first, first option, and the second option is is as the you is the you create another uh, uh, rigid body object like a box, and then use this box and then set a keyframe to the box and uh, and uh, move it to hit the bypad. So this will um, uh, j just want to fake in uh, the backpack is uh, hit from this direction. So um, if it if you set it well, uh, you the backpack will uh, move from this direction. And uh, finally, there's uh, another option, another another way to to do that. To that is um, uh, very similar to the first one. Now you the motion capture file stop at uh, fifty two. You can extend it that, and then. Um, uh, like so, in like uh, if I move it, I rotate it or move it like like so. Um, just pretend the bypass is uh, uh, hit from this direction. The arrow is from here and hit hit this direction. And uh, um, I said this uh, star change the star frame to um, fifty-five. Um, you can see the different result. Uh, if I change the substep to forty. change the substep to 40 you can see um, different results uh, but uh, uh, maybe this uh, is not realistic um, if I set a gravity to uh, 600 um, 50. yeah still uh, not good um change to one sub step yeah better um so as you can see change it um a higher higher value of the sub step sub step now